Josh, you've been surprised by how well the season's going for you. I mean, it seems like you're having your best year. Uh, I am. I feel like uh, it's just hard work. I've been I've been working really hard, uh, praying a lot. So I guess it's just kind of paying off for everything I kind of been through, you know. So I'm just working just to keep keep improving and keep playing better. The the best year that I I think I've probably had since I've been here as well. So just hard work, just been paying off and just trying to be get better and better each week I step on the field. Looked like you play pretty good pass defense on that playing the end zone. It was called interference. Yeah, I think it was kind of. I think it was iffy, if you ask me. I think he was more pass interference than I was. But, you know, if I do it again, I'd play the exact same way. You know, this is just how I'm taught to play in the red zone. So it's like that. Sometimes you get them, sometimes you don't. I kind of talk to the ref about it. So we got to understand it now. <laughs> what did you tell the ref? I told him he was holding me. I wasn't holding him, you know. So I told him next time, look out for that. So it's all right, though. I, I get it back next time. Uh, I don't think it's weird at all. It's just, you know, you just, you got to be prepared. You know, you always prepare for, for those situations. You know, we practice with noise and, and all those type of things anyway. So we're kind of prepared for all that anyway. You know, just a new environment. You got to get used to it. You know, it's going to be really hectic. SEC game on the road. So you kind of, you, you, you get used to it. Just the young guys probably will be a new a new experience for those guys. But for, for the most part, a lot of us older guys already, I already know what it's like to go on the road, play, or in the weight games anyway. What have you been telling those young guys about those guys who are going to be making their first start on the road? Uh, it's just another game, you know, especially on defense. With, with defense, away games are probably better because we don't get any noise, you know, because they, they tend to be quieter for the offense. So we don't get any noise on the defensive side of the ball. So it's, it's pretty easy for us. So I don't really know about the offense, but I know defense is really easy for us because we can make communicate, make checks, and all that. And, no, be, be no problem. Josh, we hear a lot about the linebackers when you guys play a mobile quarterback. From your standpoint as DBs, what do you what do you got to look out for? What 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 are you looking at? You know, right after the snap, I mean, it seems like you've got a lot of responsibilities like that if, if it's a mobile quarterback. Well, mobile quarterbacks, the big the big thing they kind of harp on in practice is is uh, plastering your man. You know, because when mobile quarterbacks get out the pocket, sometimes if they start running. You tend to want to come off your coverage, but then that one time you come off your coverage and they hit you right over top of the head for a big one, you know. So our, our big thing is just to stay in coverage, you know, let those our great D-line and uh, linebackers handle that, you know. And if it was to break to us, then, you know, we make the play say today and live the fight for another day. Does it help going into this dual threat challenge that Mississippi State presents having played guys like Sean Watson and Trevor Knight? What do you guys sort of learn, I guess? Uh, it, it's great. Once you play somebody like Deshaun Watson, who, who's who's great with his feet and with his arm, you know, playing anybody else is kind of like you already know what to expect. You know what I mean? So you you already – it's like the same type of game plan for each one of them, you know what I mean, just to keep them contained in the pocket, make them try to beat you with your arm and not with his feet. You know what I mean? So it, it's kind of the same thing that helps already doing that in the beginning of the year instead of trying to – wait till the end of the year playing those mobile quarterbacks, you know. So we already know how to adjust to those type of things, you know. So it, it, it's good, especially just, like I said, playing Deshaun. Deshaun was probably one of the best you ever get to play against with, with the feet and, and, and a great arm, you know what I mean, so. Josh, the group, how do you think the defensive backs have played the first five games? Uh, I, think we, I think we played pretty good. If you ask me, uh, <laughs> I think we can do it. We get a lot more. We, we need to get a lot more turnovers, though. I think we we we, we do need to get more interceptions. Uh, we we're playing pretty good, though. You know, we we it's the little things that we're not doing is why we're not getting those interceptions, though. It's a little leverage problem here and there. Uh, maybe a technique, maybe a technique flaw at the line somewhere, you know. But as a back end, I think we're doing good. Uh, we're proving. Uh, everybody's kind of bought in into what uh, Coach McGriff is. Uh, has taught us, you know, and we're, we're ready. And he challenges us every week to get more turnovers, so I think we got to start, you know, picking it up to get more turnovers to help the defense. Did you think you'd be tied to leave that category five games for the season? Ah, nope, but I am. So <laughs> I got to try to win now, you know, so I already done told him that I'm going to lead the team in interceptions, and 
I'm gonna do that. So I, I gotta try to make sure I get as many as possible. So I'll be looking for a, a few a few more interceptions as the year go on. Josh, overall the defense, are you guys playing with more confidence than you have in a while? Yes, we are. I feel that's why we're playing to our best right now. Uh, it's kind of more Coach Steele's, though. Coach Steele kind of, I wouldn't say, he, he kind of installs uh, for us. You know what I mean? He kind of installs for his players. So when we go out there, we know what to do. It's like it's like second hand now. You know what I mean? It's like second nature. So when you know what to do, it makes it easier when you're on the field, you know, because when you're making like if you if you have a big game plan in and a real big compact game plan in and you're always worried about messing up, you're not gonna play as well. So he always tells us that if you make a mistake, it's on him. So only thing he wants you to do is go out there and play 110 percent and just give a lot of effort. You know what I mean? So when the coach tell you that, you don't have to worry about making mistakes. He might cuss you out or something maybe later on, but you don't really worry about it during the game. So I feel that's why we're playing so good and. Everybody just feeding off one another, you know. Once one game led to another game, and we see how good that we really can be. So it's just building our confidence now. Was the effort been there like you hoped it would be? Oh yeah, yeah. It, 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 you can tell, Billy, back in like spring, even when I wasn't practicing, they 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 was really intense. Fall camp, they really hard. He really harps on effort. He don't really effort is like his main thing. You know what I mean? His his big. He always says that we're gonna lead the uh, nation in effort. So that's how one of our big things is effort each week. What's been the key on the, the success on third down, Josh? What's been the key to that specifically compared to any other downs, any other turnover situations? Just why is this defense done so well on third down? Specifically? Uh, want to know the truth? We got one of the best pass rush in America right now. That's what I feel. I feel like those guys up front uh, are some of the best we have in the country. Uh, and on third down, it, it's, it's just you know those guys are going to get to the quarterback and affect pressure. And it seems like nobody can kind of really just run the ball in, inside and in the interior on our, in our uh, front seven. So our O-line, I mean, our D-line is really great. And it's just, like I said before, with the confidence. We know third down is money down. So we harp on getting off the field on third downs. What has made Deshaun Davis just so comfortable early on this year? I mean, it seemed like the linebackers were going to be a major question mark because they hadn't, hadn't had that experience. Right. They've, they've taken that role for the three guys that walked out the door pretty well. He, he, he's, he's really hungry. And nobody really never gave him a shot before because of his height. You know, you really don't have too many five, seven, five, eight linebackers in the SEC. So he's been really waiting for this moment, you know. So he, he, he's been – when they gave him the chance – he was going to run with it. He already told me like a long time ago, once he got a chance, that he was going to run with it. And he's one of those guys that all he do on the field is talk. I thought I'd talk a lot of crap on the field. He has me beat by a mile. That's all he do on the field is talk crap. Like, and that, that motivates him, you know what I mean? Like some guys get that motivation, like that motivates him. So that's all he does. He jumps around, he celebrates, and that's just how he plays, you know, and he plays great. So you can't really tell him to stop because he's playing, he playing awesome. So those guys feed off of him. And as a secondary, I feed off him as well because he's one of those guys who, who's been waiting for that moment. And his moment came, and he's, he's really ran with it now. What makes, what, makes Fred, awesome. what makes Fred Ross a challenge from them? I know you didn't see him too much two years ago, but what, what makes Fred Ross so effective for them as a, as a wide receiver? His speed. He has a lot of speed. They use him in a lot of different ways. Uh, they just try to give him the ball. and in a bunch of different type of ways. Uh, he's like the go-to guy, so you got to like really know where he's at and kind of know what the formation presents itself to know where he's going to try to get the ball to, you know what I mean? So he, he's a big key to the offense, so we just got to just gotta harp in on our assignments. Josh, what about what, last one. Where does that kind of rank in your own mind as far as the importance of the defense and the fact like that? I think you, you how many touchdowns you got in the passing as number one, and then with that, Interceptions are big. Uh, you want the interceptions because that, that kind of tells that you know, we're taking the ball away, you know. But uh, as long as we're 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 limited like passing yards, you know what I mean. We're not really letting the top off the coverage. Uh, we're not getting beat deep a lot, you know what I mean. That that's really another big key. But interceptions are big though because that, that shows we got great ball skills and. We're taking the ball away. We're in, in the right position.